Mr. President, I rise today in strong support with my Democratic colleague, uh, of the other floor leader on this bill. The Senate had a quorum call. Excuse me, Mr. President. I ask unanimous consent to vitiate the quorum call. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. And now I rise in strong support of the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act. Over two years ago, Mr. President, I sat down with now the late Senator Frank Lautenberg of New Jersey in an attempt to find compromise and to work together on updating the drastically outdated Toxic Substance Control Act. Updating this law was a long-time goal and passion of Frank's. It was a real goal of mine, although we came at it from very different directions, at least initially. I'm sad and Frank isn't here with us today to see it finally being brought up for consideration on the floor of the Senate. We worked closely together and forged a significant, productive, positive bipartisan compromise, the sort of work that we don't see often enough in the U.S. Senate or the U.S. Congress. But we got it done here, and it's a strong, positive compromise in substance as well. Now, after Frank's passing, Senator Tom Udall stepped in to help preserve Frank's legacy and continue working with me to move this reform forward. And we have done that consistently over months and months, working on issue after issue, detail after detail, to produce a strong result. Very proud of the substance of this result because it achieves two very, very important goals. On the one hand, we certainly protect health and safety and give EPA the proper authorities to do that with regard to chemicals in commerce. On the other hand, we make sure we don't overburden industry and take uh, put them at a disadvantage in terms of remaining world leaders as Americans in innovation and chemistry. We are world leaders now. We innovate. We produce new chemicals and new uses and new products on a spectacular basis, and we certainly don't want to threaten that. Our Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act doesn't threaten it. It enhances it and it protects health and safety. And that's why I'm so proud of this bipartisan work. Now, we've done that work so completely, Mr. President, we are now in a position to pass this bill through the Senate in very short order. In fact, we only need two hours of floor time, and we need no amendment votes related to the bill in any way. And that's virtually unheard of in the Senate, but it goes to the work that so many folks have done on both sides of the aisle. So two hours of floor time, no amendment votes. We can pass this bill, move it on to the House, and we have been in contact with the House for months. So we are very hopeful that we can follow up with our action, with a House action and a final result in relatively short order. Mr. President, that's why we're coming to the floor today to ask unanimous consent to establish that process in the near future. Very simple, very short process so that we can get this done, achieve this result, no amendment votes necessary, whether they're germane, related, unrelated, no amendment votes necessary, and pass it on to the House. And I certainly hope we can have that agreement to move forward in a productive fashion. With that, Mr. President, let me yield to my Democratic colleague, Senator Udall, who's been such a great partner in this effort following Frank Lautenberg's unfortunate passing.